Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious berry milkshake. So good, you'll think it, I mean, it's almost gourmet. And yes, it's our final installment of our tribute to Ina Garten. And so, just stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. It's easy and it's delicious. But first, we're getting chickens. So let's head over to the farm for just a little bit. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our final installment of my tribute video. Um, we are actually headed to the chicken houses. Hold on. I gotta get you situated so I can put my seatbelt on so the bell don't ring. Um, we are headed to the chicken houses and because we are getting the last two houses of chicks. So we're going to do all this first and then head to, um, and then do our final installment, which is a dessert, not really a dessert. It's kind of, I don't know. It is a dessert. To me, it's a dessert. So, um, it's going to be super good. It's going to be hot day to day. So this dessert is going to come in super handy. So we will see you over here at the chicken houses in just a second. Hey guys, if you notice a haze, the whole, I mean, you can't really see it right through here, but there is a haze over everything today. Um, I think the camera really picks it up good right over there. Um, that is the air quality uh, from the wildfires coming from Canada. Uh, I mentioned it yesterday in our video. Um, it just wows me that... Um, <laughs> the wildfires in Canada, the smoke actually makes it down here to North Carolina. Um, that it's, it's amazing. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. Okay, we're waiting on the chickens to get here and they should be here shortly. Okay guys, I believe I hear them coming down the road. You can hear them coming. So we'll wait and see if what I hear is actually them. And look at there. Here they come. They come in a heated tractor trailer. I'm telling you, these chicks are babied so good. They, ha they cannot regulate their temperature. So um, everything has to be heated up nicely our houses are heated up nicely so they have to be super comfortable when they get here the way this operates guys is they take that little thing in the back it's called a moffet and they come around the side door you see those trays right there that's a heated tractor trailer the temperature in there is about 86 degrees very comfortable to keep the birds very comfortable in transport it's a unique uh setting to watch them come in to hear them chirping and uh, they're getting ready to get everything rolling so let's get the curtains up well we're back at the house and we're going on with our tribute to Ina Garten now this recipe was super fun to me I was super excited I knew we were getting chickens today so I saved this for today not only did I save it because we were getting chickens and because it's hot but because every so many weeks Bryant and I decide to loosen the reins on our dieting just a little bit and we've loosened up and today's that day so this is a perfect day for us to have a little treat and this is going to be a treat for us so uh, but my taste tester is going to be judah today so this is super duper fun now let me tell you in Ina's recipe it calls for strawberries this is going to be like a berry and jam milkshake um, in her recipe, it calls for strawberries and raspberries. 
I purchased raspberries, uh, a big thing of them, and they were a weird color, I thought. They were kind of whitish. Um, but I thought, well, maybe they just didn't pick them at the ripeness, but I still need that raspberry flavor. And so they'd never changed colors on top. But as soon as I started picking them up, they were all bad underneath. And so I just tossed it and said, we're just going to make a complete strawberry milkshake, which um, it actually works out better this way. Her recipe called for 10 ounces of frozen strawberries and six ounces of fresh raspberries. Well, this is a 16 ounce bag of strawberries. So if I had used her recipe, I would have to save a little bit of this strawberry and then I wouldn't have anything to do with it and I'd have to throw it away. So uh, it actually worked out better. So I can use this whole bag of strawberries. Um, my hands are wet. I don't know if I can open it. Okay, I've got out my wonderful Christmas gift Bryant got me last year for Christmas, my Ninja food processor. Super excited. Um, I have found a new kitchen gadget that I want. I'm just going to take scissors. I have found a new kitchen gadget that I want this coming year, uh, but I probably will get it before <laughs> because I want it bad. It's also a Ninja, but it's their uh, Ninja creamy ice cream maker thing. Um, I think it may be out of stock right now. So I guess I'll get it when it comes back in stock. Okay, I'm just going to toss these berries in this food processor. I hope my food processor is going to be big enough. Okay, and so I'm going to use a cup and a half. Let me get y'all tilted down where you can see what I'm doing. I have cords everywhere. We're going to do a cup and a half of whole milk and we're going to blend that real quick and get that blended down. So there's a cup. And of course my measurements are on the other side and that's close enough. Okay. Let's get our lid on. And we're going to puree. Well, no, we're not. We're going to turn it on first. Okay, guys, I'm worried now about my <laughs> chopper being big enough. So I'm going to add in here a cup of ice cream. I softened it a little bit in the microwave. I hope this is going to be big enough. Uh, all right. We're also going to go in with some plain Greek yogurt. And I'm gonna eyeball another cup of that. And one more thing. We're going to use some strawberry preserves. We're going to use half a cup of strawberry preserves. So I'm just going in with half of this little jelly jar. Y'all, I don't know if this is going to be big enough or not. We got chickens today. You guys have already seen that. So it's been a great day. Kind of things getting back to normal, except Bryant's in the hay field. Y'all know how I feel about him in the hay field. All right, I'm just putting my hand over this spout in case things decide to spew. He's excited about being our taste tester for this. All right. 
Oh my goodness. Why would we stop at just a cup of ice cream? <laughs> Let's just add the whole thing. Let's just blend that in. I added the whole thing of ice cream. Okay, guys, I don't think I can pour from, this does not have a spout. And here comes Bryant, right on schedule. I didn't even call him to tell him it was time, but here he comes. So, um, I'm going to figure out how to pour this up. I'll bring you back in just a little bit. Okay, y'all, so Judah wants to go first on the taste test. In fact, I think he's already hitting it pretty hard. So, what do you think, buddy? <laughs> I think he likes it. All right, let's get Bryant's opinion. All right. Hey, 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 been out mowing hay. It's been working hard. Very hot, it's about 90 degrees outside. Look at this refreshing <laughs> milkshake. Have you already told him that? Yeah, I said it, so it hit a perfect day. Uh, we're lightening the reins on what we're eating a little bit today, so it fell on a good day. We are? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Anytime there's a strawberry smoothie involved, we are. That is delicious. <laughs> I mean, that is spot on. Have you had any? Mm -hmm. Full of strawberry flavor. Creamy. Thick, creamy. That's Very delicious. Good. Now... Um, and you could probably do that same recipe with a lot of other fruit. Yeah, it was actually, the recipe was actually supposed to have part strawberries and part raspberries. My raspberries went bad. Really? Yeah. You, yeah like I said, though, you could probably substitute that and make that, that with multiple, multiple fruits. A banana oh, yeah. would be delicious in there. Peaches. Peaches would Peaches be great. Peaches would be great. Uh, as long as you've got a jelly to go along with it, because it is berries and jam milkshake mm -hmm. or... I guess you could call it a fruit and jam milkshake. But yeah, that's super good. Hey, I see you used your food ninja. Mm hmm You like that? I uh, love it. Yep. In fact, I've already told him I got my eye on another ninja product. Me ninja. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. Got to try this one. Yeah, it is delicious. So I hope you guys enjoy going over to the farm with us. We may... Go a little bit more to the farm in just a little bit and um, just check things out. We'll check the cows maybe. And um, so I'm not going to end the video yet. I'll see you back in the next segment. Hey everyone. I have mentioned on several of my videos the church property that we purchased and we fixed the house up. Getting it ready to rent out. And so it's almost ready. I mean we are almost ready. In fact, Bryant and I are here to measure the windows for the blinds so let's go in and i'll show you i know there's no before pictures so um you don't know what it looked like before but i can tell you it looks a sight better so let's go in and i'll show you around we're in the carport walking up the steps this walks into the kitchen and dining room area Everything looks so good. So we have this rock. Um, they can grill in here, I guess, and their oven is here. So we can go around. They have a little office area right here. This is the living area. Fireplace and wood storage box. Beautiful. All right, we'll go down this hall. Let 
bedroom one. Very nice. Bedroom two. Bathroom. Very nicely done. Y'all, and when I say this house looked nothing like this, it looked nothing like this. And bedroom three. Bedroom four. With the bathroom. Tub. All right, so now we're gonna go back down the hallway. I wasn't sure what this was. I haven't looked. Oh, it looks like a little linen or storage area. All right, let's go back down through here. We're back now into the living room. We're coming around. This, I believe, was used as a bedroom, but could be an office. There's no closet. There is a bathroom. So this is a three bath house. And this walks out onto the deck area and a storage building out back. So this is a nice, large, very large house. We're back in the kitchen, and off the kitchen here is the laundry room area. Now ladies, is this not, I mean, we might would paint them, but other than that, is all this storage not a dream come true in a laundry room? I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You've got to make this. It is so good. If you have a blender, that's all you need. You don't need a food processor. Just a blender will work perfectly. It is so good, y'all. I'm telling you, it is absolutely delicious. Thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I appreciate you more than you know. So get ready for the upcoming weeks. I'm not sure what's coming, but we're done with the tributes. So... It's going to be a ride from here. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.